Hello friend, welcome back to my channel. It is time to tackle a project that I don't want to do, like at all. I've been putting this off so bad, but in order for me to put everything away, I got for my Aldi stock up, just kind of rotate food, take care of business. It means I have to organize my pantry. It is like, not organized whatsoever. It's a black hole. It is the vein of my existence right now, but something needs to happen. So what I think I'm gonna do is just take everything out as so I can reorganize it. I wanna put some of my jars of dried things in there so then it clears up some space on my shelves. I have, I have some ideas what I want to do, but I don't know what I'm going to do until I can take everything out, you know, double check all the ex expirations. Nothing should be expired, but I want to go through, check it, you know, go through it all. But I hate this part. I have to take everything out. And it's just going to get piled up all around my house until I deal with it. <sighs> okay, I'm doing it. Everything's out. It's an utter mess. The one thing I hate about our pantry is like, you can't really store. And I do have some of these like space saving shelves, but I can only do so much with them. I know I need different heights. I like that this one sits back a little bit so you can get to it. But sometimes I wish like they were a little bit better. Like this one here is huge. These are both a little smaller. The top is huge. The bottom is huge. Like nothing was built proportional. And uh, I hate my pantry. Like I utterly hate my pantry. That's why you see my office is where all my canned goods are because that's what <laughs> makes sense for us. But this is like still the pantry that came with the house. So I am going to drink my chai latte, cold, iced, because it's so hot. And I am going to start figuring out where I want it. Like I've always had it, this, like the top is stuff we're not using, some, you know, like holiday paper products, stuff like that up here. This has always been overflow. This has been canned goods and baking. And then down here has been overflow or like stock up because I can stack and I just don't know what to do right now. Mm -hmm. Cause I found rotting potatoes. I found a rotten potato one. But still, why is it so horrible and smell? And it's hot in here. It's like, it's a scorching hot day. It says it's 98 in the shade. So it's probably like 110 with more plus with heat index. My house is at 79, which probably sounds nice. That's with our AC on because it can't keep up with keeping the house cool because it's so hot. Okay, I'm done complaining. Take the deep breaths I teach my kids to do. And I'm gonna get back to this. Started putting some things away. So you can see down on this shelf, um, my little storage container back here is all of the loose pastas. I had some bowl pasta and Annie's mac and cheese, like cases of them, those are there. Could I find better places for them? Probably. Do I? No. <laughs> So now I'm trying to just kind of like work my way through like my container down here in the corner is oats. I have the last of my husband's life cereal. That is like his vice. I'm not taking it away. 
And now I'm starting to put things away. And normally that's this top shelf. So I'm just gonna start there and start gathering like all of my extras that I buy in bulk and just start putting them away. Like I, I know I have ketchup and like the condimenty things. Those are getting away. Those are just all gonna go up here. And then I'm gonna basically work my way to the door and the door is normally where I have snacks or like those little things you don't wanna get lost in the pantry but you don't really know where to put them. That's what goes on my door. So I'm just gonna get, get back to work. I think I'm gonna put on a show and keep going because I am just like not motivated at all. But this needs to get done. So let me go get this done and we'll check back in. Also, as I'm putting these away, I am trying to be good and Sharpie somewhere clear what the expiration at least month and year is. So they say it always in these little dates, but you know, when you grab them, I don't wanna have to search. I wanna see it somewhere big and clear. So I'm gonna write 724, call it like this. It's just easy to see. My husband knows it will just be like universal. And I wanna use the, uh, the one that will expire first. So use the oldest last. And then as I rotate, it's just easy to see. So I'm gonna do that as I go too. I'm like winded doing this. <laughs> I'm over it.
And like that, my pantry is done. So on my very top shelf is party stuff and our extra supply of hot chocolate. And then the shelf below it is all condiments. And then my extra spices that I keep only small amounts of. And then all the way to the right is canned goods, like my beans, lentils, and then a few actual canned goods that need to be used up first. The shelf below that, everything to the left is canned products. I don't keep much on hand. And then everything to the right is all of my baking supplies. And so I have everything in jars because I like to be able to see what I have and how much I have what I have. It's something you'll notice in my kitchen. Pretty much everything is in a jar. There was the last of my dried apples and then these pickles. I love these pickles. If I can grow them, that is my plan one day. I need to find that perfect pickle. Now down here is a lot of bulk items, a lot of pasta, chips, nuts, oats, um, a tea I have, and then sometimes we keep um, little snacks on hand. And then I also keep my parchment paper and cling wrap and stuff like that. And then I have little baskets here that hold my baggies. And then on the bottom, I store big bulk items plus potatoes and onions. This chew rack on the door is really helpful for keeping all sorts of little snacks. And I keep, oh, chocolate for some more, some of my husband's special treats. Uh, then what I call car snacks, individually wrapped snacks, we only take in the car or for special things. So I do keep some on hand, but not a lot. And then just some random kitchen things like honey and freezer tape and koozies for canned goods and sprinkles. So there's a look at my pantry. Thank you for joining me on this chore I didn't want to do.